Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing really well. Today, I am going to do a quick video of showing you how I am going to completely sterilize this tank. This aquarium uh, has been empty for a while and previously I have had been keeping some sick fish in it. I was trying to treat them. But now I want to use this aquarium as my a breeding tank for my discus pear, which is currently in my other tank that used to be a quarantine tank. So I want to shift my breeding pair. One second, I will show you. These guys. So I want to shift these guys to the aquarium I just showed you and I want to empty this tank because it used to be a quarantine tank. And I want to be a quarantine tank again, just in case if I, if I get new fish or if any of my fish are having any problems. So these guys have been spawning in this tank, but so far they have not been uh, successful in raising their fries. They are still young parents and they are still learning. So until now, they have not been able to keep their babies alive so far. Uh, so I want to shift these guys to this tank. So before I do that, before I do that, I want to completely sterilize this tank just in case if it has any sort of bacteria or any sort of parasites because I don't want the breeding pair to be sick. So I'm going to tell you how to do it. I'm going to use potassium permanganate. Uh, it is a chemical that is used in uh, in a very, you can say, in a very calculative quantity to completely sterilize your tanks. It is used in the treatment of all sorts of bacteria and uh, parasites. Usually people who keep discus or in uh, or people who are breeding a lot of fish, they use this treatment to completely wipe out any kinds of bacteria and parasites from their setups. This is what I'm going to do, but I uh, just want to tell you that I'm going to use, uh, I'm, I'm not going to be very careful with the dose I'm putting in the tank. Why? Because I don't have any fish. My goal is to completely clear the tank of any parasites and any bacteria. So, and in case if you want to use this, uh, um, this technique to get rid of any parasites or something, just remember that it will not just kill the parasites and harmful bacteria, but it will also completely kill your beneficial bacteria in the filter. So be careful about that. You have to recycle your tank. For me, I want everything to be sterilized. So later I'm going to use my filter media from one of my other aquariums for this tank. So I don't have to recycle my aquarium. It will be like as if it's already cycled. But I want to get rid of anything nasty in this tank. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use potassium permanganate. So let's get on with it. Now I'm going to put some water in it. Now the water looks really black, but it's actually not black. It's, uh, uh, it's actually very dark purple. I'm going to show you this using a tissue paper. You can see it will turn purple here. It's not black, it's purple. And now we are going to add this into the aquarium and see how the color turns out. Okay, so before I put the chemical in the water, I wanna tell you that this is the light I took off the aquarium. There was a glass lid on the top of the tank and this light was above it. I have taken the life, uh, I have taken the light off and I'm keeping it at the side so you guys can see it properly what I'm doing. And this is the glass lid actually, which I have also kept inside the tank. I'm going to keep it completely inside, submerged in the water because I want everything of this tank to be completely sterilized. Okay. So now, uh, the glass lid, the aquarium itself, the heater, the filter, uh, everything in there is going to be sterilized. If, if any kind of parasites, bacteria is going to die off. And it will also kill the plants. It will also kill the beneficial bacteria in the filter. And um, I don't want to lose the plants, but I guess I can have, I can always have more plants. I can always grow them from my other plants that I have in other tanks, but I want it to be safe for the fish. So now I will add uh, chemical in the water. Here is the potassium permanganate that I'm going to add. 
Okay, I have turned the brightness a little up so it's more clear to you guys what I'm doing. Now, in case if you have fish in the aquarium and you just want to treat your fish, what you have to do is you have to add this solution uh, very slowly and don't add all of it together. You just add few drops and see the color of the water. Then you add a few, uh, then you add little more drops and you look at the color of the water. In case if you have fish, you want the color of the water to be very light purple. If, you, if, it's, if you're going to make it dark or if you're going to overdose this uh, solution in the tank, it's going, to, it's going to kill your fish. Don't try to do this treatment in a way that you put the medicine in the tank and then you're gone out from the house, no. If you try to do this on your fish, you should stay there and continuously observe the fish. Be very careful what's happening with the fish. If you, if you see any kinds of uh, stress or something, right away do a water change, okay? So, but for me, there is no fish in here. I just wanna completely sterilize everything. I'm going to dose extra. So just to be sure that everything is clean in there. Later on, I'm going to throw the dead plants, the substrate, I want it to be a bare bottom tank for the breeding pair. So let's add it now and let's see how the color turns out. Okay, this looks amazing. I want to point out that this will also kill any snails and shrimps in the tank. Even though one of my friends, he did an experiment by using this treatment on the shrimps also and one of, he used it only one shrimp and the, one, and the shrimp survived actually. But it is known to kill shrimps, it is known to kill snails and if you dose it extra, it will kill the fish also. So be very careful with this stuff. So as you guys can see, I have added a lot of this chemical of potassium permanganate in the water because I just did not want to take any chances of anything nasty surviving in there. So I hope by tomorrow this tank is completely sterilized. I'll do 100% water change. I'll remove everything from inside, make it a bare bottom tank. And then we will shift my breeding pair to this tank. Okay, so this is the next day and this is how the tank looks like. Usually after four or five hours, the potassium permanganate turns brown, but this has, uh, this has been much longer than four or five hours. This is the next day in the afternoon. And I think even the brown color, even the brown color has mostly disappeared. So far the plants seem to have survived it. They are green right now, but I'm not sure if they will die in the next few days or if they can still grow. Okay, so I'm not really sure if potassium permanganate really kills the plants because here is one of my uh, Anubias plants. It was looking in real good shape and instead of throwing it, I just placed it in another tank and it's doing absolutely fine. There is little damage on the plant, but this happened a few days later after being in the new tank, so I'm not really sure what's the cause of it. I don't think it's potassium permanganate, but uh, the plant looks absolutely fine. So I'm not sure if it is only the sensitive species that are killed by potassium permanganate or it is just Anubias that survives it. I didn't bother to save the rest of the plants. So I just took this out and placed it in here and it's doing absolutely fine. So I guess potassium permanganate doesn't harm Anubias. Okay guys, so this video is taken a few days later. I've taken out everything from the tank. I've cleaned it nicely and covered all the sides with white paper and now I think the tank looks absolutely beautiful it looks really bright I'm loving it and I think the fish love it too there is much more room and much more water in this tank it looks much more clean so I think this project is a success I just hope these guys start to spawn in here and have fries successfully. This video was taken a few days later and you can see the fish are already spawning in the tank. The eggs I hope they successfully hatch and I have healthy fries and they grow up. But with these guys are still learning how to be good parents, how to take care of the fries so let's see. But I think this project overall has been a success and if you guys like this video please do give it a thumbs up and do consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. And I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, peace.